developed by Libraries for the Future and Middle Country Public Libraries, Family Place Libraries are centers for early childhood information, parent education, socialization, and family support. What does the future hold for this baby? Can we do something now to positively impact her future? Recent studies and new technology show that during the first years of life, we can actually help build the foundation of this child's brain so that she is better prepared, better wired for cognitive development. We now know how to positively influence her future capacity to learn. Family Place Libraries presents Infant Brain Development, the Critical Intervention Point. Dr. Jill Stamm, a clinical professor at Arizona State University, and president of the New Directions Institute for Infant Brain Development, is a leading innovator in translating the hard science on wiring the brain and resulting cognitive processes into user-friendly information and practical strategies. This research is really exciting news for anyone who's caring for a young child, whether it be the parent, a daycare provider, a teacher, or a librarian. Anyone who cares for a young child can benefit by knowing what the science is teaching us, and that is that at the time of birth, the child's brain is only about 25% wired up. But by even one year, that wiring is now 75% complete. And by three years, 90% of that brain has been formed. And so what it's showing us is that it's literally the experiences that a young child has that goes to form a brain and to allow a child to reach their maximum potential, whatever their heredity might be. The brain is really a developing organ. It's not just a mini version of an adult brain. The child is actually born, though, with all of the necessary building blocks. We're born with 100 billion neurons that, over the course of the child's life, begin to develop into trillions of connections or synapses. And the child actually uses and seeks out experiences in the environment that help then to form that brain and to take it so rapidly between birth where it's only 25% wired and even one year old at 75% wiring complete. It's really exciting because it gives the caregivers, people who care for children, the opportunity to really maximize the, um, this window of opportunity for the brain to develop in really healthy ways for learning. Dr. Michael Phelps, UCLA, and co-inventor of the PET scan said, these developmental years are not just a chance to educate, but they are actually your obligation to form a brain. And if you miss these opportunities, you have missed them forever. Science helps us to see that what a young brain needs to wire up well is people time, face time, one-on-one, -on -one, predictable, responsive care. Regardless of socioeconomic status, children who are raised in homes abounding with language experiences are, on average, brighter. This proactive technique of exposing young children to lots of words is very doable and very inexpensive. Television does not do the trick. Children need face-to-face -face interaction. They need someone to talk to them, sing to them, read to them, play with them, and cuddle them. The exciting news is we finally have scientific evidence to back up what parents and caregivers may have known instinctively forever, um, and that is that it is critical to the development of the brain that the child have sufficient attention, that they have someone to bond with, um, and that they are talked to and communicated with all of the time. Those things put together um, really influence brain structure and therefore the effectiveness of a person's brain for the rest of their lives. And the exciting part of this is that it is possible to do. Um, it's within everyone's power to do those things. What we know is that there are programs out there like Family Place where this kind of information can be shared with, with families in a very naturalistic way. Um, so it turns out that the work that librarians can do directly can impact that child's IQ later on. What I love about Family Place is it's a place where parents can come, where they can interact with one another, they can watch some techniques, they can learn from other parents, and they can watch their children gain an interest in different objects and different activities that they may never have thought of um, at home.
So what does the future hold for this baby? The power that this information really has is that it gives the parent the ability to know that they can influence the development of their child's brain and that they can do it very easily and they can do it mindfully. Um, we really have a tremendous power. Every parent, every caregiver has the power to impact that child's ability to learn, really forever.